Drifting is a great way to cover water without the sound of your motor alerting fish to your presence. It works well inshore and offshore. But for it to be productive, the speed and direction of the drift must be controlled. And the drift sock can do just that. The drift sock is nothing more than a small parachute designed to create drag in the water. It helps slow down your boat's progress and it can also help steer it. Manufacturers provide charts to help you select the right size for your boat and you can find them online before you buy. To put a drift sock to work, you'll need a dock line with a looped end, a crab trap float, a stainless or brass snap, and a cord, preferably a textured one and made of polyethylene or a similar synthetic material. Rigging it is easy. Attach the snap to the dock line loop. Then, tie an overhand knot on the dock line about four feet above the loop. Slide the dock line through the float, flat end first, and tie a second overhand knot behind it to keep the float from sliding back. Next, clip the snap to the drift sock straps. Then take the cord and attach one end to the back of the drift sock. There's usually a small loop provided for it. Now tie the other end of the cord some 10 feet up the dock line, and you're ready to deploy the drift sock. The next step is to determine where to attach the drift sock. Usually it's best to find a cleat above the beam, in other words, to the rear of the middle of the boat. If your boat doesn't have cleats on the gunnels, as is the case on many flats boats like mine, find a suitable replacement like a console grab handle or the push pole while it's still on the holders. It's important to remember, if you want to drift to the left, deploy the drift sock off the port side. If you want to drift to the right, deploy it off the starboard side. Know that you can also use your outboard as a rudder to fine tune the direction of the drift, simply by turning the steering wheel in the desired direction. When it's time to go, pull in enough dock line to reach the cord, then pull in the cord that will flip the drift sock, eliminating its drag in the water and making it easier to retrieve the rest of the way.